So the next day I go to my office, phone rings and it's Bowie Kuhn. Now then Bowie Kuhn was the commissioner of Major League Baseball. I miss Koplovitz, he said. I see you televised the Yankee game last night. Yeah, wasn't it great? Went in extra innings, I'm bubbling over with enthusiasm, and you know, blah, 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 on and on, and wasn't it great? The Yankees won, but he said, that's you know, not really why I called you, Miss Koplovitz. I didn't call you to talk about the game. I called to tell you that you didn't have the right to televise the game. <laughs> oh, really? I have a contract right here from George Steinbrenner. I have it right here on my desk, a signed contract with George Steinbrenner. He said, Yes, well, that's what I wanted to tell you, Ms. Koplovitz. He didn't have the right to sell them to you. See, George was always trying to pull one over on everybody <laughs> else in the league, so I thought to myself, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I said, uh, well, well, I mean, really, uh, why isn't this contract valid? And I'm asking these questions. I said, look, you know, you really, you should let us do this because, you know, people are going to love this. They're going to love watching the Yankees and all this sort of stuff. And it, it, he wasn't buying it not buying it. And she said, now you better stop and deceive I'm going to get a, you know, I'm going to get a restraining order. I'm going to file in court and get a restraining order to stop you. Now, I'm a little tiny company. You know, I've got a million dollars in revenues. I can't take on Major League Baseball in court. I don't have any money to do that, you know? <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, yikes, now I've got I've now got these contracts with my affiliates. They're paying me to get these games in the first game, and I'm told I don't have the right to televise these games. And I thought, oops. You see, when you're an entrepreneur, you do things. You just plunge ahead, and sometimes you don't realize that you're plunging into an abyss. <laughs> so I hung up the phone. I said, I'll call you back. Oh. I go, my husband, as I explained as a communications lawyer, was in another building, but in the same complex in New Jersey, in Oakland, New Jersey. And so I went over to say, hey, you know, hey, Bill. <laughs> Billy Kuhn just called me and said he didn't have the right to televise. And I told him the story. And he said, well, you know, maybe it's a league right that, you know, they, they can only televise within their grade A <laughs> contour, grade A and grade B contour, maybe 50, 75 miles outside their city, and they can't go into other people's territories. And you know, maybe he's right. Maybe you don't have the right to do that. Maybe you should have thought of that. Well, I didn't even know what to think of it. So you know, okay, didn't think of that. Um, so I'm thinking to myself, I'm going back to my office and I thought to myself, well, and I asked him about a restraining order because I really didn't know how easy it was to get a restraining order or whatever. <laughs> and uh, he said, look, Major League Baseball wants a temporary restraining order, they're gonna get it. You know, so I said, whoops, there won't be any game next Thursday night then, um, thinking to myself. So I, now I think, oh, well, I'm in trouble. So I go back to my office. I'm sitting there thinking. So I said, I call him back. So I picked up the phone and called him back. And I tried to talk him into rethinking this, that maybe I could really do the Yankee games and maybe I could give a license or something to Major League Baseball. He's not buying it. He's just not buying it. First of all, he's pissed off at you know George Steinbrenner because he didn't have the right to sell it to me, and he went ahead and did it anyway, and all this sort of stuff. So anyway, I stopped, and I said, "Okay, I'll trade you." Silence. I'm waiting. I don't. And he finally said to me, "I don't. I don't understand what you're talking about. Trade me what?" I said. I'll trade you this Yankee deal for a deal with Major League Baseball. And that's how I got my deal with Major League Baseball. He said, I'll see you in my office tomorrow morning, Ms. Koplovitz, at 9 o'clock. No kidding. That's how I got Major League Baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. <laughs>